What the fuck is up, everybody? We are back to play some more Pokemon Legends Arceus. The best game. Let's get it. Let's fucking go. What's he order? This for me. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's absolutely fucking get it. Sorry about that. That was a bit loud. Alright, sorry about that. Let's actually get into this now. I do believe it is time to make some progress. Yeah, we have uh, Sneasler now, which is something. We got that in our short stream yesterday. This is still going to be on the shorter side because it is a weekday compared to our weekend streams. We're probably going to be going for a little over two hours. So nothing crazy short, but nothing super long either. And let's see, I'm gonna pick that up. Nah. Those are for dire hits, I really don't need those. I don't know what these are. Doppel bonnets. Oh, these are useless. They're for Aux evasions, and I really don't like using those kinds of items. It makes the game a little bit too easy. Oh, another Pokemon that we can't, um, what's it called? We can't send out our Pokemon, and I think that is exclusive to Basque Legion. It's kind of annoying. Ooh, new Pokemon. Ah, I was too slow. What do you mean? It's not showing up like it's gonna be doing that, but it does that. Geodude, bin head, Geodude. How are they still mad at me? They're so far away. I wanna aim this right. What the hell is the way this is aiming right now? Okay, well, that's a waste of a lot of feather balls that just occurred right there. Oh, I didn't take any fall damage. Nice. Ooh. Oh, that thing is still mad at me. Okay, we're gonna just pass by. And we'll catch some Gligar at a different time. That was interesting. Oh. Look at that. A wisp. And some hardy grains. I gotta return some of those to somebody back at the, uh, the base area. I 
That's a haunter chasing me. I believe we can afford to just ignore these for now. We're only going to try to catch new things like those uh, Gligars, although obviously we did fail on our first attempt to catch Gligar. That's Gibble. Oh, I whiffed. Okay, well. Another effort. Wasted. Very useful, Sneasler. Very useful. The utilization is cool, too. I like the way it works. And if anybody's curious, we will be doing more streams of this game after I beat it. Just obviously not story games, we'll do some post-game stuff, some shiny hunting, and trying to 100% the game, because that is something that I would like to do. Yeah, get that tumble stone. Ooh, that's an Alpha Gligar. Is there any way that I can get there without alerting any of these? Two free Gligars, actually. Look at that. I have recently heard that apparently you can actually catch Alpha Pokemon if they're unaware. And I want to test that theory. So I want to see if I can get this thing at a range where it can't notice me and it's back facing me and see if I can Feather Ball it. Because that would be nice. I don't know if that counts. Ooh. Okay. It's a bit of a waste of a ball. Okay, it didn't count. So it's a lie. It's all a lie. It's a farce. Okay. What Pokemon have ice type moves? Alright. Check moves. Actually, I should, I should just go to their summaries if I want to check their moves. Summary. You have ice punch. You have Ice Fang, and I believe you have, uh, you have Ice Fang as well. Okay. Yeah, Ice Punch is going to be the most useful, so this is going to be a job for Toxicroak. And we're going to try to catch this guy. Oh! I'm going to try to catch this Gligar unaware. I think I'm too far. Okay, I am. Okay, good. That was huge. I didn't actually think that was going to work. Okay. We don't have to catch it. Honestly, I think a strong poison jab would be enough. I think an ice punch probably one-shots it. It's ground flying type. So we're going to just go for a poison jab. Oh, that did absolutely no damage. Unaware, too stunned. And then an Agile. Aqua Tail. Interesting. But you'd use Aqua Tail instead of, you know, a ground type move. Move twice? And it critted? Oh no, it was strong style. My bad. Okay. That's interesting. I believe a Stone Axe might be the play. Or maybe something else. Let's see. Have I have anything two times. Aqua Jet might be the play, actually. Aqua Jet sounds like a good idea here. Let's go Basket Legion. We're going to use. Oh, Agile Aqua Jet moved three times in a row.
regular Aqua Jet. And we can try to catch it. Great Ball should do the trick. Good job, Basket Legion. It's only level 52. It's only two levels ahead of Basket Legion, so yeah, that should be caught. Look at that, we caught three Gligars. That was pretty easy. Easy three Gligar. Okay, something just aggroed us. I think it was another Gligar. But first, let us revive Toxicroak. And let us heal him up. Okay, now things that we can drop. I have a full inventory. This is the least important random item we have. And then the berries. We're gonna use the grit dust immediately. Arcanine, you could use it for speed. Basky Legion, you could use it for a defense stat. You could use it for... Nah, and you could use it for what? Nothing important. So we're gonna give this to... Basque Legion's special defense. Oh, I can. I already did that to three. Alright, we'll do Arcanine's speed then. Get it to three. And then the XP candy. We could give that to Arcanine. It's only a small one. It's not gonna do much. Yeah, it's only a thousand experience, but... It's something. Okay. Now we're gonna have my boy Basque Legion. Or Luxray. Uh, I want someone to take care of this. Uh, but actually, we don't even need to kill them, to be realistic about it. I want Spectre to get to be... My, I want Spectre to be my highest level on the team. It doesn't seem achievable, but I want it to be close to it if I can't get it just there. What is that sparkle I'm seeing? It's Bronzong. We already have a Bronzong. So I'm going to be using Spectre to do farming. Because I want Spectre to catch up to Hatchet. So we're just going to do a bit of messing around and then make some story progression at some point. Ooh. Maven's Lost Satchel. What do we get for that? 92, not bad. And I got a revive. That's actually useful. Revives are good to have. That's not an Alpha Bronzong, is it? We already fought an Alpha Bronzong, but it'd be funny if there was another one. I don't think it is, because that one seems to be about the same size. Right. Oh, Pseudo Wudo over here. What is this? A sparkly chest? Oh, a nugget and a great ball. That's actually some good stuff. Oh. What do I not have space for? Was it the nugget? Oh, a scatterbang. We don't need scatterbangs. Those are pretty useless. My last feather ball. Let's actually craft some feather balls. I bet I have the ability to craft some at the moment. Yeah. I have a lot of these other balls. We'll make one great ball just for an even 50. We have 55 pokeballs. We'll make this uh, 25 heavy balls. 45 leaden balls, and we'll just make this 20. I should stop making heavy balls and pokeballs, to be honest, because those iron chunks don't seem to be running out. Right, that should be a free pseudo Wudo. Wait, I'm sorry. Oh, the pseudo Wudo didn't get caught. Oh, it could just climb whatever. That's good to know. That's a good getaway technique from certain Pokemon. I bet a lot of Pokemon can't reach that far up. I gotta do some sneaking around if I want to get some easy catches with some heavy balls. Nose pass. Hello. Do a little bit of a 90 degree turn to the left. Come on. Okay, doesn't want to cooperate, so I'll just use a Lenten Ball. That should be good. Yeah, okay, cool. 
There's no way I get a leaden ball to reach that far. We're going to grab a heavy ball and wrap around, and I think we will be able to catch this pseudo Rudo unaware. Should be caught. Yep. Nice. We caught a pseudo Udo. Oh, what do I not have space for? Is that a smoke bomb? Oh, another scatterbang. Yeah, scatterbangs we don't care very much about. You know, I don't have Bonsly in my Pokedex yet. I haven't run into any. At least I don't think I have. So whatever. Ooh, that's an Alpha Gabite. That sounds like a job for Basque Legion, I'm not gonna lie. What? Bruh. Alright, that's what I was kind of waiting for. Level 56, I don't think an Ice Fang one-shots this thing. It's good to good to think so. Just caught unaware and too stunned. I could go for an Agile Aqua Jet for good measure. Let's see, Ice Fang was 130 power times 4. Yeah, this will not kill. Oh, this is a little bit close. To, a little bit close call. Oh, wow, you ate that outrage. My. Oh, it used two of them. Okay, good job, Basque Legion. <laughs> Alright, who do we send in? It's fixated on outrage. We don't have any fairy types or steel types. I feel like our bulkiest Pokemon is probably Arcanine. Let's see. Your physical defense is 123 and hatchet's 164. Alright, we'll bring hatchet in then. I'm just gonna throw a great ball. I don't think we are in a need for the ultra ball quite yet, although its catch rate is not great. It is very low. First try, wow, I thought that was going to take a few. That's lucky. Very nice. Alright, a medium EXP candy. What can we drop? You know, a lot of items here that I actually just have never used. These are useful for crafting something. I don't know what, though. Caster ferns, what do I need those for? Need those for pop pod? I mean, for... for Scatterbangs, smoke bombs, and that is it. And I do not make those. I ju I'll just use what I have at some point. So yeah, I'll drop my caster ferns for my EXP candy. And I will give the EXP candy. I could give it to Spectre, or I could give it to Arcanine. I'll give it to Arcanine. Get it to level 49. And we're going to use our revive on Basque Legion. You have 125. Yeah, we're just gonna use. Oh, whoops. We're gonna use two potions on you, and you should be close enough to full. Yep. Nice. Inspector is like a very little amount of farm away from being good. Oh, look at that. Grit dust. Alright. Uh, we can use that. Can we still use that on Arcanine Speed? We cannot. And its attack is good also. Or. Your main stats are good. Basque Legion, your special defense and attack are good. Spectre, you're very good. Arcanine. Hmm. I guess I should probably give Cleavor some bulk. It's weak to water, steel, and rock. That's pretty physical. 
So I guess look, it only has it. It doesn't have any physical, so I'll give it some physical defense. We'll give Cleavor some physical defense. There's so much you can miss if you don't just go to every possible turn. Anything that looks like it leads to a dead end just leads to a whole other area. Right, I was just over here. I remember, that's where I found a wisp. So I think I'm going to go back to where I just was. We're going to grab... Hop on Stantler. Back to this cool ruins area. Oh, I didn't even notice. I walked right past the Dialga statue. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Oh, it's so big. Statue of a Pokemon with an air of divine. Ancient people must have worshipped it. Yeah, it is pretty... It looks pretty like... It looks like a pretty worshipy, uh type deal, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, a Wisp. Oh, and a Gligar. Does it de if I collect the Wisp? That would be nice. It does not. Okay. Well. Let's hop on Sneasler. Uh -huh, can't catch me. Loser. Oh, Sneasler is very useful. Don't think there are any new Pokemon. I think we have caught everything in this area now. Okay. We are going to proceed upwards. Oh, whoops. My bad, G. Alright, Spectre, go farm that. Oh, it's so close to leveling up. <laughs> That is an Alpha Luxray. I think the only ground type move that we possess is Bulldoze, which we have on a singular Pokemon. Ah, oh, fuck, I goofed it. Alright, I have an idea. What if we get up and we throw the Pokeballs from above? Is that a possibility? One of them's mad at us, which is not what we want. But that doesn't seem to be that big of a problem. Oh, that's a problem. That it can just hit us from that far away. That would pose a problem. Oh, a Rotom. Just whiffed right past. Wow. Nice running animation. Let's get these Pokemon not aggroed. Let's try this again. Fucking Luxios are annoying, bro. What the f Did it just... What the hell? How did it do that? Right, I want to get a back strike on this thing. Turn around. All the way. Turn around all the way. Come on, Rotom. Let's see, that should be good. Come on. God damn it, why is that so hard to catch? Huh. 
How did you see me? You break out of the Pokeball I'm, and I'm fucking hidden. Like, what are you talking about? Okay, well, you didn't have to crit it and kill it, Arcanine. But there we go. That is the 100% proof that there are no abilities in this game. I figured, but there is the proof. It did not have Levitate. What did you... Did you just master Infernal Parade? That's nice. That Luxray is watching very intimidatingly. catch that Luxray unaware. I don't want to catch one of these Luxio. Turn your back to me, bitch. Turn your back to me. Oh my. Well, I've goofed it. Let's catch that one. Come on. Oh, let's go. We caught the Luxio. Right, I would like to catch this uh, Luxray unaware. Voltorb leapt out of a crate. That's a new Pokemon. Let's catch a Voltorb. You're a Voltorb. Come on. Relax. Energy Ball? What do you think you're doing? You think you're doing something? You're only level 39. I mean, I mean, I tried. Alright, we got a scatterbang and a grit gravel that we're worrying about at this point. So, what do we drop? Let's drop these first, because these are not the most important. Grit gravel, we can use that. Give Basque Legion more attack, or give Arcanine more attack, but its attack is already six. Basque Legion has four there, you have four attack. We could give Basque Legion, or we could just give it to Spectre. <laughs> I'm spoiling my boy. I'll gladly discard the scatterbang. I'll gladly discard that scatterbang as well.
course that would whiff. It would. It's just convenient enough for that to happen. Right, where's this Luxray at? Alright, I want to attack this Luxray. Come on. It can't see me. This is very much a job for Arcanine, but we have to wait till we can catch him off guard. Now is the time. What? What are you talking about? Of course not. Oh my god, why would it be convenient for me? Why would that be the case ever? Thunder. Of course it hits and it okos. Great. Now they don't have a super effective move. Let's run. That was so conveniently done. Just turned at the perfect moment. Because that's just what happens. Alright, let's make some potions. We can make some super potions. He's 105 HP, so we can give it a. Wait, let's give it a super potion. And look at that. Okay, so that Luxray is not going to be defeated yet. That's fine, we already have a Luxray in our Pokedex. Okay, we need to catch Voltorb as well. What? How did he hit me from so far away? Okay, that was the first one of those dumb flowers we picked up. If I had a stack going, I would have kept it, but I don't need a singular one of those things. Oh, that's going to be annoying to get it from the back. Oh, that was convenient. It turned around at the perfect time. They usually do the opposite. Nice. Caught a Voltorb. I'm not going to open that. I don't feel like getting into a battle with another Voltorb. Um... Let's see. Nothing over here, just another Volt Orb. Not really focusing on getting too many of the um, challenges done in regards to like catch three Volt Orbs. I'm kind of just going to do that while I'm trying 100% the game. When it comes to the story, I'm just kind of trying to catch like one of each, if you know what I'm saying. What is this? Oh, it's a Rhydon. I don't have one of those still. I, actually, I don't know. I don't believe I have one of those. Oh, there's two. That's two chances. Nice. Oh, well, that's one chance gone, because I would like to... I don't feel like battling them, to be honest. Okay, well... That one is a lost cause. See what I can do about these other ones, though. Get some farm while I'm at it. I wonder if I can get that right there. No, didn't think so. That would've been cool, though.
I like the stealth aspect way more than just getting into a fight with them. I feel like it kind of ruins part of the newness of the game, you know? Oof. That was well-timed. That's something fun to do. Sneaking up and then rushing in. Oh, we caught it. Let's go. There we go. Our first ride on. Of many to come. Because we kind of don't have a choice but to find many. Okay, that one we're not going to worry about. Because we aggravated it. Just going to get our medicinal leaks and get the hell out. That's what, that's what the plan is. Get the leaks and get out. Ooh, a wisp. Oh, whoops. I'm an idiot. Just wasted a leaden ball. It's whatever. They're not that expensive. Crunchy salt. Interesting resource. I don't believe I've been down there. I haven't, because there's another Rotom there. That's not the same spot where I found the first Rotom. Another wisp. Have I been missing these, or are these spots that I haven't hit yet? There's gonna be a lot of spots to still hit that I have not done so yet. I don't believe I've been there. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, to be honest. I will get that ore, though. Oh! A space-time distortion right here. This is gonna be the first one that we do on stream. Yeah, we'll wait for that to happen before we make story progress. That's fine. I would like to get that Wisp and that Rotom. These do take a while to form. I think five to ten minutes. I, that's what it felt like the first time. I'm not positive. But we can see. Is it just one of those mushrooms over here? Is that why I didn't pick it up or did I just miss it? Oh, it's another crunchy salt. Okay. Mischievous and Miss Magius. Oh, an Alpha Miss Magius. Not just any. Of course. We're at a point where everything starts to get aggressive. We got lucky with that Mischievous, though. Oh. Ooh, that might have been lucky. Damn it. These things can be really hard to aim with sometimes, which is why I wasted them way more than any other kind of Pokeball. It might be caught. Let's see. Well, first, looks almost like a gravestone. Okay, we didn't catch it. That's kind of annoying. Wow. It really just dipped. Looks almost like a gravestone. We're at some kind of graveyard, it seems. You might be wondering how I figured that out. Well, it's because there's a bunch of things that almost look like gravestones. That's actually how I figured it out. Isn't that crazy? Oh, space-time distortion has started. Let's get to that. Oh, wow. Okay. That was a waste of a leaden ball. Alright, let's 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 see if we could free up any of our inventory space. Alright, you can stop now, Sneasler. Any free-uppable inventory space. <sighs> let's see. We have a full inventory, so we should, ha we should free some up now. I don't know how I'm going to go about that, though. Alright, well, let's start with... Oh, I got another Ultra Ball. I didn't even notice. I have two Ultra Balls now. That's going to be useful. Soft Foot Root. We could use up our Super Potion. That would be a waste. That would be a complete and utter waste. I've never used smoke bombs or anything that's used to distract them or stealth spray, but 
But I don't know when they'll be useful. I feel like the stealth spray might be a little harder to use. It muffles your footsteps and makes wild Pokemon less likely to notice you, whereas the smoke bomb reduces visibility in the air to keep wild Pokemon from noticing you. I feel like that's easier to use. And I feel like that's just more useful in general. If it's like logic wise. They can't hear your footsteps, they could still see you, but this one they can't even see you. So that's pretty useful. So I think I'll just get rid of my stealth sprays. I've been holding on to them for a while, still haven't touched most of these things. But that's only one thing that we've dropped. We can't just go back to the camp or do any load things because then the distortion will just disappear. We can't get rid of this. This is money right here. Money in our faces. I could drop the Vivichokes, I guess, for now. And the Crunchy Salts, for now. And the Medicinal Leaks, for now. And now we have... Oh, no, we don't want that favorited. I'm, I'm an idiot. And we have one, two, three, four spaces open. We'll see if that's enough. It should be, but if it's not, we'll have to drop some more things. We do have a full inventory of pretty useful items, but we'll see how this goes. Right, we got some of these shards, which are nice. Uh, let's get on weird here. Ambipom Magmar Artillery. I'm only going to catch things if we do not have them yet. Oof, that hurt a little bit. What is this? Stardust, that's useful. More Stardust, I believe? Yep. I'm not seeing too many Pokemon. Drapion. I'm only gonna catch things that we don't have. It could be good experience through battling. Am I receiving a phone call? My phone's going crazy. Oh, I am. It's PhysXP on Discord. We'll do that. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm live. Do you remember that, that, that post-game uh, three-hour fight that I was talking about? Yeah, did you just do it? I got rolled by it twice. N nice. Don't tell me anything further. I'm currently in a space-time rift. No, I'm watching. Ooh. And I'm only catching things that I don't have in my Pokedex. I can't beat him. That's a Dawnstone. You That's said nice. I was over leveled. This is. I'm, I'm severely under leveled too. Oh, really? Yeah. Damn. It's ridiculous. I'm kind of just doing this for items. It's... Oh, shit. Ooh, Dusclops and Jolteon. Interesting. Oh, there's a Wisp up here. And Stardust. Alright, I want to catch the Jolteon, because I do not have a Jolteon, but it doesn't seem like I will be able to do that unless I attack it, because it is attacking me. Oh, it has it disappeared. It seems to have disappeared. That is so unfortunate. I'm going to go cry now. Alright. Another evolution spawns its smoke. We'll battle it. I don't like battling with the big, like, spawns of Pokemon, because it's always like a 1v3. Amber Palm, we already have an Amber Palm. Got some shards. I know what we can do with these shards later on. Kranidos! I killed his first Pokemon without dying for the first time. Nice. Oh, it's a person! Yeah. It's a trainer, interesting. Alright. I'm going to go for and an Agile Flamethrower, because it's resisted, but I'm pretty sure Kranidos has pretty abysmal special defense. Yeah, that was a good call. Use Double Edge and missed. Oh no, never mind. I keep thinking it misses, but I'm a normal type. I'm going to go for another Agile-style Flamethrower, and then just a Great Ball. Can we get a Shield on next? That would be nice. Right. Shield on? Yeah. Are they in this? Oh. I'm literally catching a Kranidos right now. Yeah, that should be an easy catch. Only level 38. Nice. Okay, we caught a Kranidos. Good job, Spectre. I'm kind of just getting Spectre levels. I want Spectre to be my highest level. Makes sense that I would want my starter to be my ace. 
I, I, Jesus, that hurt. My God. Oh, Eevee gets aggressive? What the hell? I just got hit with a swift from the Eevee. How'd that miss, bro? These jet balls are so iffy. I keep calling them jet balls. These feather balls are so iffy. Oh my god. I'm trying to do this with as little smoke as possible. I would catch Eevees for, like, getting their evolutions. But if I really... The game really doesn't want me to, then I'm not going to. But I would like a Jolteon, so we're gonna catch a Jolteon. What level are you? Level 40? That's weird that that's how that works. We're gonna go for a strong style Infernal Parade. Eh. Let's go for a regular Infernal Parade. Maybe I should have gone for a strong style one. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> the Jolteon just learned Infernal Parade. Alright, let's see if a Great Ball gets it. I don't see why it wouldn't. Its catch rates shouldn't be too bad. It's at half health. Come on. Ah. Oh. the Jolteon. You used Thunderbolt. You just learned Infernal Parade and you used Thunderbolt. Yes! It's an odd decision. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. It's a tie game, finally. 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> All at full. Yes! You missed the rock slide! I'm cracked. Alright. I think we just go for I'm an so good. Agile flamethrower. That might have just saved the entire game because I would have died today. He's 10 oh, minutes above me. It killed. I killed the Jolteon. I'm so sad. Alright. We're not going to use our hyper potions. We're not going to do it. I refuse. kind of just like this because I'm getting all these shards because I know that these are going to be useful and I know what to do with them when I get out of uh, this little excursion come on, crit. Give, me the, give me the crit come on no he gets Sylveon he gets stores. that's cheating that's so cheap I just found a Sylveon nice now this thing has good special defense, so I'm just gonna go for a, a strong style Infernal Parade. This is not a good fight to be in right now. It's a 1v3 against two Drapions. I'm using a Ghost type. Very unfortunate. Okay, one of them just used a four times resisted move, and the other one used Sword Stance. Okay. Yes. Sylveon, go for a Fairy type move. No. Used Calm Mind. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know Frostbite hurts. Okay, that's it, good. Better I, I didn't know that either. I've, I don't think I've ever seen Frostbite, to be honest. We're gonna go for a regular flamethrower. Burn. Damn it. Venishock. Okay, that's resisted. Other one to just do nothing. I think now I just try to catch it. Great ball it. Let's go. If you guys want to see this epic one. fight that he's uh, that he's in, go check out his. Oh, wait. Oh, I caught the Sylveon. No! He got to move twice in a row. Right, that's a grit dust. I can drop something for the grit dust, surely. Salt cake. I don't use these I was cakes about to win. very much. It was and one shot, and he got to move twice. And you lost? Well, you gotta pay yeah. attention to his ability to use yeah. agile style moves and no, your use it, of them. Sometimes it changes. It, he didn't use agile style. Uh, well, some moves get different priority. Like, priority moves just change the, the movement speed. The move speed. Instead of... 
having actual priority. Alright, what do I drop here? I have two dawn stones. I think I'll just drop the salt cake. And the grit dust I will use. It's rematch time, everybody. Fourth time battling this guy. Damn. Use this on your physical defense stat. Oh, and the distortion is gone. Oh, no, that was just a little effect. Oh, no, the distortion is gone, but there is an alpha riperior over here. Nice. His battle music is incredible. It's brand new. Just for this battle. This definitely seems like a job for a basket region. My dog is doing a bit of barking. I don't think this mic picks it up, though. Oh no, this mic definitely does pick it up. I mean, it is very loud. Oh, that was Sorry about that, chat. All right, what level are you? 74. Am I allowed? Are you allowed to what? Are my speakers loud? Oh, oh yes, God. a little bit. Is that better? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a little bit better. Right, let's, see, let's see how much a strong style... Uh, does a strong style wave crash kill? No shot, no shot. I'm gonna go for it. Strong style wave, wave crash. This shouldn't kill. I just got drowsy twice. Yeah, I lost. It did less than half? Oh my god. Double unaware. That is lucky as hell. And I can move twice this turn. We'll go for... We won't go agile. We'll go regular wave crash. See how much it does. And we're gonna go for... The regular Rave Crash is 75 power with Stab. That's about... 107. Or 108. Very good so if that becomes 75... Do a lot of priority. Aqua Jet is the play, probably. Yep, okay, that was a good play. Good play. High horsepower is probably gonna kill. That's fine, you did good Basky Legion. Oh, it critted? I wonder if that mattered. Basky Legion is pretty bulky. Alright, what doesn't get murked by this thing? My whole team gets murked by this thing. I think I'll just bring in Hatchet, because it's the least murked. Because it's the highest level, and it's semi-bulky. Alright, items. I think I'm gonna Ultra Ball. I actually found another Ultra Ball, so I have two Ultra Balls now. So I'm just gonna use an Ultra Ball and pray. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's go! First try! Ultra Ball, level 74, Alpha Rhyperior. Oh, that's nice. That is nice to see. Alright. I could use this large candy to either just give Spectre some level advantage to get it closer to Hatchet, or I could use it on Arcanine to get it to level 50. I'm gonna use it on Spectre. Yeah, that just got it to level 53. <laughs> okay. Now I'm gonna pick up this Grit Pebble, and I'm gonna use this Grit Pebble. I can increase Spectre's speed. Speed is actually an important thing, I, I've realized as I've loaded yeah, out Spectre's yeah. speed stat. You just get really good priority with it. Okay, I could give Spectre either 8 speed from 7 or Arcanine 7 attack from 6. I'm gonna give it to Spectre, because Arcanine is- this isn't the final Arcanine that I'm gonna use, just kind of a playthrough Arcanine. The only Pokemon on my team that are gonna be like permanent, permanent Pokemon that I use are Spectre and Hatchet. And that's, I think, going to stay true until I beat it. Depends. If I like Gudra, and it also depends if Gudra's shiny looks good. And it depends on if Avalog's shiny looks good, but we'll see. Alright, we gotta do a bit of healing. Can I make any healing items? No, I cannot. I can make Pokeballs, though. Let's do that. 
I have a lot. I have 91 apricorns. All right, we're going to make, like... We'll make one more. And then we'll make some leaden balls. And I'll make some great balls. I'll just make a bunch of these because I run out of them easily. Ooh, chingling. Ooh, a high oh chance God. to catch. That's number five that I lost. Oh my god. And how long have you been going? Time. I don't know. Because I bet, I bet it takes a lot more than five to go for three hours like that one guy did. Yeah. I don't even know what to do. I don't have any EXP candies or anything. Can I use grit pebbles maybe? And like... Oof! <laughs> you need to look at my stream. Look at that throw. That was a meaty throw. It didn't even catch! Nice throw. I don't know how that didn't catch. And it fled. The chingling just dipped. Alright, there's another chingling over here. Alright, that one was just kind of in the face. Come on, be be nice to me. Let's go! Alright, I want to get a Chimac up. Is that an alpha Chimeco? Bring your speed up. All the Chime Echoes look alpha. Okay, it's not. Backstrike. Gonna kind of hide behind it. For just in case that happened. Oof. I didn't think that was actually gonna hit it. Oh, the... Fucking disappear, it's so annoying. Alright, that chingling showed back up, but I don't really care anymore. I've lost interest in the chingling. I wanted I wanted the chime echo though. I'm doing so there's so much exploring to do in the area before electrode. Alright, you need some health. You need less than a hundred. You need a hundred twenty. I'll just give you one of the hyper potions. We have some to spare. And you will just give. There we go. All right, I put up the EVs of all of my Pokemon to what I could with the grits I had. I use them whenever. I use them right when I get them. Um, God, I hope this works. Dude, if... Oh, you've, you've had think... them on you and not been using them for, for a big fight? That's just a bad idea. I didn't realize I had them. Oh. The last... Some of them have just come down to... High rolls and low rolls. Some have come down to sad I, I bet for some fights in Pokemon games... Chances and odds are altered to make fights harder. I bet this is one of those I, cases. I I don't know. It could be. You could be a correct man on that one. I don't know. That should be good. Yeah, Chime Echo. <gasps> it missed hypnosis. Yes. Let's go. We take Chime Echoes. Give me that. We killed it. We killed it without anything happening. Okay, that's really good. I, I like how you're acting like you're streaming. I'm letting you know what's happening. <laughs> I don't need the narration. I, I, I would like to know as little about this fight as possible. And I already know that there is hypnosis on, on, the, on it. And that's more than I needed to know. I'm fine with knowing it, but I would have been finer if I didn't. How many people are even watching? One person. Nice, and it's you. But the Twitch one says something else, so I don't know. 
Twitch one says two. Well, that's because you're watching your stream, right? I'm not. I don't even have the uh, stream manager open. I just have it open on OBS, which does not count. The Twitch view count on Twitch, though, when I looked at Twitch, did say two before I clicked on. Okay, I want a Rotom. God damn it, I hate trying to catch the stupid Rotom. He's so zippy and cringe. Oh, there's a bronze over here now. Oh, don't tell me the burn's gonna kill it. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Oh! Did the burn kill it? Of course it did! And the, and the freaking bronze song is gonna get to me. Good thing it just used iron defense. That's annoying. Bro, he is 10 levels above me. 10? My god. What can I drop? Anything? I'll drop this. They seem to be somewhat important, but I really don't care. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, Grit Dust. I can use this. I'm not gonna use it for your physical defense. I'm gonna use it for... Probably something for Vascu Legion. I could use it for Vascu Legion's physical defense. Or Hatchet's... Special defense. I'll do hatchet special defense. Used to spend checks on my Nikes, now they pay me. How many revives? I have three revives left. That I just missed good. twice in a row. I missed Ice Fang twice in a row. That's crazy. It happens. Oh, what the hell? That's a new alpha. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This is something for Basque Legion to take care of, for sure. Oh, I'm about to die. We need to run. We need to have nothing angry at us, so we can heal. Oh, and that's a Graveler.
That should be an easy catch. It's literally a magic card. Yep. Nice. Alright, I would like to get this alpha golem. I hate that when they roar, you get stunned. It's so annoying. What the fuck? This is so dumb. such a dumb chase down. I needed to like do a roar or something. This is so stupid. Not go any further. Oh my god. I literally just need like two seconds of having something not mad at me. Holy shit. Is what everybody complains about. Oh, there's an invisible wall. I don't think I should be here. I was gonna say, this place is pretty empty. There's a good reason for that, I see. Count him, baby number six. I really don't know how to, how to catch this thing off guard once it's alert. I actually have no idea how to do it. It's always facing me. easy to dodge its attacks, but catching it off guard is not super easy. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. What are you talking about? Really? That's ridiculous. Holy shit. That golem is retarded. It's going to be so easy to fight, too. That's the most annoying part. I want 
to catch a fucking golem. That'd be cool. Of course, it's backwards facing me, but it gets alert immediately. There we go. That took 15 years only. It's level 60. Simple wave crash shouldn't kill it, right? I have lost six times, so... Oh my, that is terrible. But it missed, okay. Then you're gonna great ball this thing. Get in my balls! Hey, yo. Whoa. Hey, yo. I'm with the shit every day. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it, you dumb cunt ball. You stone edge, that is a cool animation. Oh, I lived. I took a stone edge. Good job, Basky Legion. Now we're gonna use another ball. Seems like the life I need's a little distant. Come on, that's it. There it is. Come on. God damn it. The grew enraged. Stone Edge hit again. Basky Legion down. Crit. Did not matter, but crit. Alright. Well, it's spamming Stone Edge. I have a Toxicroak that resists it. However, it's also weak to ground, but it's my best bet, so let's do it. There it is. Jesus Christ, you're a golem. Relax. You're not that cool. You're not that guy, pal. Elf rock, but that doesn't hurt very much. If this is the case, I'm just gonna keep going for great balls. I have 70 great balls. This is something I can afford. Come on. Let's just stay in. There it is. Come on. Jesus Christ. It does not want to stay in the damn ball. Does it not have a ground move? That would be very nice. It's just using stealth rock. It's like the least damage it could possibly do to me. I have one Ultra Ball. I'm not going to use it, though. Come on. Dude, you're low. You're level 60. Why was it easier to catch? I guess I called the Rhyperior right with an Ultra Ball. But still, it was level 74. That's going to kill. Yeah. Jesus. I think I have to use a not very effective move on this thing. Get it even lower. Maybe I'll use Rock Slide. Or Stone Axe. You know, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna Ultra Ball it. I'll use my Ultra Ball. If I use the Ultra Ball, I stay at 69 Great Balls. Yep, there we go. There it is. Ultra Ball was the trick. I caught the Golem. I got a large EXP candy, too. Alright. I have one revive left. I believe I can craft revives. If not, I have to go farm for some medicinal leaks. Which might be the case. Because I am going to need potions anyway, so I'm going to have to go get medicinal leaks regardless. Because I am out of potions. I do have two hyper potions, but that is not enough. I have one medicinal leak. Hmm. 
Seems like the life I need's a little distant. Alright, what was I just gonna do? Oh yes, my large EXP candy. Yet again, I'm gonna use it on Spectre. Let's go, Spectre is now the highest, well, same level, but higher experience on my team! Okay, I need to go get some medicinal leaks, it seems. I need meds. I need healing. We're gonna... Okay, well... I'm gonna run on past that. I'll see if I can catch myself with this mischievous right here. I know this isn't gonna catch if I don't get a backstrike, so I'm gonna be aware of that and be careful. Come on, it's fucking Miss Magius. Miss Magius. I don't feel like fighting the Miss Magius. It's an alpha. I was just gonna catch a singular mischievous, but I guess that's not happening. Ow! What the hell? Did a shadow ball just chase me from across the planet? Number seven. You died again? Yep. Jeez. Not looking forward to that fight, and by that I mean I am very much looking forward to that fight. Seems like the life I need's a little distant. I don't believe I've gone this way, so I'm gonna go this way. That's a Luxray. Space time distortion again? Oh, that thing's in Guam. I'm not even gonna do it. That thing is so far away. Well, I could go back to the base camp, but I'm so far away from a camp. How fast can I get back up here with Sneezler? I don't want to figure out. I'm too lazy. Fifty-four Electabuzz, Jesus Christ. Oh, the Luxray is here too. Ooh, that did the perfect amount of damage. Okay, Thunder Wave, that's fine. That's not much to worry about. Electabuzz, you thunder, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, it did a lot of damage. Okay, I think a Great Ball should catch this Electabuzz pretty easily. Oh no, I no longer have 69 Great Balls. This is a sad day. Yeah, that's caught. Nice. Wild charge. And Arcanine has passed away. Hate to see it. That's the annoying thing about the double battles. You don't get you get experience after the whole thing and not after one thing gets KO'd. Oh, it did still get some experience, okay. Grit Dust, I'm just gonna use that on. Spectre. Actually, no, Spectre's defense I'm not going to use that on. I'm going to use that for... What have I been using this for? Basket Legion's defense. Should be using it for its HP, actually. Its HP stat's pretty solid. I'm out of revives. So that is not great. Not the perfect position to be in. And I'm low on healing items as well. Yeah, 
not an ideal position to be in. That is an Electivire. We're gonna hop up here for a moment. The sound of the flute is so cool. I want to fight that Electivire. It's got to be a high-ass level, though. Surely. This is just a big slope filled with Gligar. I'm not going to go down this whole thing. Speak to this fella. Who is you? Sto this is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. Okay, then I guess I won't pass. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna catch this Electivire off guard. He's looking like number eight is uh near. Damn, it's really that hard. Yeah. This is this like the hardest so boss over. fight in any Pokemon game. He is overleveled, and you know I did not lack. Yeah, you definitely level. tried to attain as many levels as you could. Oh, come on, Electivire, turn yourself, you dumb slut bag. Oh, that didn't work. Run, run. We don't want him aggressed towards us. Seems like the life I needs a little distant. All right, let's let's hop on Sneasler. See if we could do anything from up high. I cannot go any further. Why did we take that? Why did we tank that so much? We didn't tank that as much. It was the same move. Strong style, agile, agile no. Nope. Also, I've debunked your theory. You cannot just catch alpha Pokemon. Okay. I yeeted a, po a Pokeball at an unaware alpha Pokemon, and it did not go my way. Was it a back shot? It was. Maybe. Bro, how do I catch this Electivire unaware? He turns his back to me and I slowly approach him. And he just turns back around. Oh, you would do the, the animation that I need you to do to get to catch you unaware when I'm nowhere near you. You would do that, Electivire. You would. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. He was roaring doing that animation I was just talking about, and I dove towards him, and he spun around on a dime while roaring. Wow. Oh, my God. This thing really doesn't want me to catch it unaware. There's no grass, it's so hard to be sneaky. I have an idea. Oh wait, I think I might have a really good idea. Do I use a smoke bomb for the first time? I have no idea how these things work. Oh, that didn't work. Whoops. I'm a fool. Another space-time distortion. Oh no, that's the one that was forming. That's the one that's in Guam. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. All 
Alright, I think these smoke bombs might actually be the play, though. They did at least somewhat get the job done. I just have to keep using them to come up closer and closer. Until I end up behind it. It worked. <laughs> okay, smoke bombs are actually very useful for catching things unaware. It's level 69, oh my god! Nice. Bulldoze, that becomes 120. But it also lowers its movement time. I'm gonna use bulldoze. Ooh, that was a good crit. Uh, caught unaware. And then a thunder. I can take one, right? Yeah, I thought so. Ooh, got parried. That's annoying. Alright, I think we go for another bulldoze. They hit another thunder in a row? Oh my god. That's a bit annoying. Alright, let's bring Spectre in. And yeet a great ball at this thing. Give me a crit capture or something. Oh? First great ball! Oh my god! Annoying that Arcanine doesn't get any of that experience, but jeez. Hey, let's go! Spectre is officially the highest level on the team. Alright, now I really need some medicinal leaks because I have a fainted Arcanine and no revives. Now, if I get one more medicinal leak, I can craft a revive. So, uh, that's gonna be my priority at the moment. Nope, oh, that Luxray is still there. Forgot about that. There are no medicinal leaks anywhere? What the hell? There's one. Let's go. Okay. My satchel is full of other items. You've got to be kidding me. I have to drop something. It's so dumb that if your satchel's full, you can't craft something if it's using up all of one of the things, because it's just going to take that spot. It's so dumb. Alright. A fairy light charm. This could be the run. Got attracting. Uh, that would be nice. If, it, if that was the run. It's a 2v1. You have the 2 or the 1? I have the 2. Nice. Okay, seems like the life I need's a little distant. And I have a Pokemon. The next Pokemon I have has a super effective move on his last one. That's convenient. Alright, let's craft this revive. We're going to have to go in with no revives. I'm going to have to have a fully healed team and no extra revives. That's how we're going to have to roll. And barely any healing items. Ugh. I really should go back. Shouldn't I? I'm going to. I'm going to go back. We're going to go back to the mountain camp. And then I'm just going to beeline to the story progress. We're just going to... Oh, until morning. See if there's any valuable crafting materials. I have my item box and store some valuable things in the item box. Okay, let's see. Any materials in here? We have vivid chokes. Do I have any? I have a revive in here. That was that's useful. Okay. I did it. Good job. A large EXP Nine candy. I'm going to use that dude. large EXP candy right Nine now. Tries. Large EXP candy. We're going to use that on Arcanine. Ah. Ooh, I have a great gravel. We're going to use that right now on Spectre's physical attack. 
14,000 XP points from that. Jeez. Alright, that Seed of Mastery is definitely going in there. These are going in there. That's going in there. That's going in there. My Vivichokes, I will take with me. Because those are very important for crafting certain things. Nugget is going in there. Dawnstones are going in there. That's important to keep. That's important to keep. All right. I believe I am set. I have a lot of empty space now. Still not many healing items, though. I could use some ferns, some medicinal leeks. But I do not have any medicinal leeks. Can I buy medicinal leeks from this guy, or can I just buy potions from you? buy potions from you and revives I'll buy some potions 25 potions $5,000 that's what? pretty reasonable are you kidding me did you lose no I have to do another battle immediately oh damn. And I have one party member left oh wow maybe that's why it took that guy three hours I was gonna say nine tries that's pretty impressive considering that it took that one, one guy shot me. wow have fun! So you're gonna have to get through two fights! And you don't have any time to heal in between? No, it's oh. a, just a cutscene! Oh, wow. It's actually the next fight! That's the crazy. Fight him again. Are you serious? Alright, I'm gonna have to hop on my homegirl Sneasler, and we're just gonna beeline to the story progression while farming. So I can get some... Actually, I could probably make some hyper potions right now. That's ridiculous. Oh no, I can't. I, can't I don't have any pep up plants. I take that back then. I have to rematch him again. That sucks. Have fun. I'm looking forward to that fight. That's gonna be fun. Honestly, I, I would suggest I just... To leave and level up. Just do some grinding. Yeah, I was gonna say... Oh, that's a I Magna mean, Zone! Flying in the oh, sky. Flying. Just flying around? Yeah. Yeah, I, I saw that one. Wait, where'd it go? I lost it. Oh, there it is. Are you serious? Why so serious? I want to try to get a backstrike on this thing. I lost it again. Okay. I think I might need to travel a bit further up to do this. Why so serious? Alright, let's see. I think this this will be easier. We have to wait for him to bat, turn his back to me. And then send it. Send him! Oh, I whiffed it. That's annoying. Oh, wow. This is not going to be easy to hit. It's not even like I had a turn to revive. It was into the battle and it moved before I could. Damn. <laughs> that sucks. It's because it's faster than you. Because its speed stat's probably way higher than yours. It was level 70, I'm level 64. Damn. <laughs> Jesus catch Christ. I want to catch this Magna Zone. I'm wasting all my feather balls. Wait, what? It bounced off! What? Do I have to backstrike it? I'm just like sicko mode throwing these things because I don't even care. Okay, whatever. I'm not catching this Magna Zone. I just wasted so many. <laughs> Alright, I have tons of Apricorns, so I think I can afford it. Yeah, I still have 59 Apricorns. 
I guess I can catch this then if I really want to. Okay, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just gonna stop for now. No, oh, that didn't work. Oh, that's that alpha gabite that I already caught. That Dialga statue is sick. Did not, actually did not take that long. I probably should have done the space time rips in retrospect. But it's whatever. We're going to talk to this. Oh, it's Melly, this cringe lord. The Warden of Electrode. Welcome to Moonview, to Moonview Arena, the seat of Lord Electrode. I know I've not exactly been supportive of you reaching this place, but a part of me did hope you'd make it. Call me contradictory all you'd like, Galaxy Grunt, but such is life. Embracing the complexity of both ourselves and the world can only help us grow. As a member of the Diamond Clan, my highest calling is to please Almighty Sinnoh, and right now that means I must protect my lord by stopping you where you stand. If you wish, if you still wish to defeat me and gain entry to Electrode Seat, you and your little Pokemon are welcome to give it your best shot. So I'm battling Melly. You have a Skun Tank too. That just makes you even worse. Let's go, Skun Tank. Give him another whiff of your silent deadliness. I hate that you say that every time you send your damn Skun Tank out. That's fucking gross. Why would you say that? Number ten. I need to go. I need to go run. The ninth boss to him. But the tenth boss overall. This is a triple battle? What the hell, man? It's annoying because it's freaking... What used to be spread moves don't even count as spread moves when there's more than one enemy on the field. And Melly has three Pokemon out against my Arcanine. Two, uh, a Zubat, a Scorpy, and a Skun Tank. Nothing's really a problem other than the, uh, the Skun Tank, but still, it's annoying. They did less than half of my health. Oh my god, they're moving so many times! They each moved twice! I just got hit by six turns. No, what the hell? The skun tank moved three times. And the other ones each moved twice. Poor Arcanine, that's so unfair. All right, let's get, let's get Toxicroak leveled up, I guess. Give a little drain punching here and there. I just caught an alpha car car divine from behind it from the wall. So. Really? Yeah. It, send it I believe you. Oh my god, the freaking hypnosis is so annoying. It would be way more annoying if it was this accurate and it was sleep instead of drowsiness. That's for sure. Oh, you could target different Pokemon? Does that I didn't know that that was a thing. ZL. I didn't know that. I mean, I was focusing the Skun Tank anyway. Every time there's every time there's been two Pokemon, there's been a single focus, which was the thing that initiated the battle, so I've never had to use that. Huh. Interesting. Good to know. Well then. Let's take care of this Zubat. Hey, two Pokemon leveled up. Let's go. My lowest is level 51. My highest is level 56. 
Let's make one thing clear. I didn't lose. You may have won, but there's a difference. <laughs> I said that last time. I just lacked, uh, time. Yes, I'm afraid there simply wasn't enough time for me to raise my Pokemon nice and strong. What do you mean? Ah, uh, could this be why Adam is always going on and on about time being a precious thing? My word, the Diamond Clan and Almighty Sinnoh truly are never-ending founts of wisdom. You're an idiot. Yes, yes, I know what comes next. You want to know what pleases Lord Electrode so you can make some bombs for it. Well, I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Because I have completely forgotten what Electrode likes. <laughs> no, no you did not. What's the matter? Upset? Gonna cry? Gonna cry? Piss your pants, maybe? Maybe shit and cum? Too bad anger doesn't make bombs. That's a really weird voice line. Why would you talk about shit, piss, and cum? It's kind of fucking weird. Melly's really giving you the runaround, isn't he, Daniel? I guess it's my fault for not telling you in advance what Electrode likes. So here's the... Adam, man! What now? Adam, man. Why would you tell him? He's a stupid kid. I could he hear, I could he hear you just now, dog. you know. Are you really going to tell this little noodle that he needs to f what he needs to find just like that? Lest we all forget, you're the leader of the Diamond Clan. Why do you bother with these galaxy louts? Use your eyes, Melly. Haven't you even looked at your frenzied lord? Don't you feel even a twinge at how it suffers fighting to control the energy that's bursting out of it? I see nothing but a Pokemon overcome with joy at being among Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Among us. Anyway, it's not like trials and suffering are always cause for doom and gloom. These things exist to help us grow. I'm sorry, Melly. I can't write off these frenzies as some trial from Almighty Sinnoh. That's why I'm doing the best I can to help out Daniel here. This is bigger than what team or clan we belong to. Oh, and by the way... I wasn't just going to tell him that he needs crunchy salt. I was going to go right ahead and give it to him. Now it's time to make some bombs, so lend a hand, both of you. Fine. At the end of the day, let none say that the great Melly shirked his duties as warned. I'll help you make your precious bombs. There, I made you a practically infinite supply of bombs, so chuck all you like at Electrode. But don't underestimate my lord's strength. I very much doubt he likes that the likes of you can quell it. Well, I have an Arcanine with Bulldoze, so we'll see about that, bitch. So even knowing you're doomed to fail, you still pit yourself against Electrode? I'll pass, thanks. <laughs> what did I make all these bombs for then? Did you just want to gawk at my skillful handiwork? Yeah, I just wanted to actually revive and heal my team is what I wanted to do. Because Arcanine is kind of the only thing with a ground type move. Actually, it's not even weak to ground. I'm a fool. It's weak to ice. It's weak to fire. It's weak to bug. It's weak to everything that grass is weak to. So I guess I could use this as an opportunity to level up Basque Legion, but it is a grass electric type versus a water type, but Basque Legion has Ice Fang. I could use Toxicroak, but Toxicroak's not going to be a final member of the team, neither is Luxray. I could use Spectre, but Spectre is kind of overleveled. But I kind of like it that way, so I'll probably just use Spectre. <laughs> or I could use Arcanine because it's a fire type. I'm probably just going to use Arcanine because it's a fire type. Because Arcanine is level 51. Alright, yes, I'm ready to battle. Heh. <laughs> You've a great deal more pluck than you have sense, I'll give you that. Word of advice, don't stop moving while you're battling Electrode, or you'll be dead in no time. Its base speed is 150, so... Yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> Big tree. Give me some Cleavor vibes. That's a lot of Voltorbs. Am I going to have to fight the Voltorbs? Oh, that is a very large Electrode! My god! <laughs> what a ball! Oh, it was upside down. 
Sup, Electrode. <laughs> hell this thing is just chasing me is that the whole never stop moving thing is that thing always gonna be chasing me oh my god it sends out little voltorbs that blow up oh my god oh my god Ow! Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, I actually successfully dodged that. Alright, let's go Arcanine. Started with the thunder, and it missed. Ooh, if I use Raging Fury, I could get two in a row. Agile Raging Fury. Let's do it. Oh, Agile Raging Fury. O code. It's only level 46. Ooh. Jeez. I like this one. This one's hard. He's going whole Al Al-Qaeda style on me, though. Jesus Christ. What? You heard me. I said he's going whole Al-Qaeda style on me. Oh my god. Oh shit, it's one of these again. Oof, I barely dodged that one. Alright, let's go Arcanine. I'm just gonna go for a regular Raging Fury, because it will kill. Oh, can you take a Thunder though? Okay, you took it. Nice. Good job, Arcanine. Okay. I'm just gonna go for a regular Raging Fury that kills. Nice. I wish the uh, the actual battle parts against the lords were hard. I think they're purposefully easy because the rest of it, but I don't know. It's kind of weird. Well, there's also a six on one. Yeah, but you don't need the six on one. Every single lord fight, I haven't needed more than one Pokemon. Yeah. Like my Arcanine, that's a level 51 pretty reasonable for how far I am in the game what is one sh one shot it with an agile style raging fury it shouldn't take an agile style super effective stab move to to win a fight like that That's facts. that shouldn't be like it you know hello electrode you're gonna give me a shock plate or whatever it's called I have to go back to Jubilife and sell some stuff zap to, uh... plate and, and buy some candies. Because. The, uh. Oh, for shame. What utter calamity. Oh. Shut up, Melly. I hate this guy. He pisses me off. Oh, that Chansey. Oh, I'll just go farm the Chansey. Where was the Chansey? Uh, you know the, uh. The coastal camp? Yeah. The one where we. The, in the place where we get Basky Legion? Yeah, if you're. F well, we were trying to get Basky Legion. Not where we ended up getting it. Uh, if you're facing the tent, it is to your southeast. Okay. Almighty Sinnoh's precious blessing has vanished forever. It's so unbearably sad. Is that how you see it? Electrode looks relieved to me. Glad it's suffering ended, probably. 
Oh, come on, Adamant. Seriously, that's just your wishful thinking, nothing more. All your preaching doesn't ruffle me one bit, but if Almighty Sinnoh grows angry with me because of this, I don't know what I'll do. I arrive, right on schedule. What's up, Ingo? Now, what did you bother coming back for? Only to say that I recalled some things after Daniel did me the honor of traveling with me. Things to do with a world where I believe I lived before my memories were lost. Most people there caught Pokemon, lived with them, formed supportive partnerships with them. And then there were the Pokemon trainers. The ones we called Pokemon trainers were truly devoted to their craft. They always looked toward the next challenge and had Pokemon battles every chance they got, all to help themselves and their Pokemon grow. Through battle, trainers forged bonds of understanding with their Pokemon and their opponents and, the, and with their opponents and their Pokemon too. With everything, I suppose. If Pokemon and people work together, we can forge new paths forward. We'll be lost to history if we go on believing only Pokemon can be strong, or if we go on fearing them instead of understanding them. Interesting. Was your world like Ingo described too, Daniel? I don't remember. Pokemon and people working together in close harmony, huh? I feel like the way that the beginning works, it, it doesn't make sense that we're coming from just the future. They make it seem like you're coming from the real world. You know? No. What do you mean, no? They introduce you to Pokemon. As like a foreign thing. Who introduced you to? At the beginning of the game! Yes, because... They don't know that you know what Pokemon is. You fell out of the sky. Yeah, but Arceus e explains to you what Pokemon are at the beginning of the game. God. He would know if you knew. Maybe he doesn't know. That doesn't make any sense. He's literally God. Pokemon and people working together in close harmony, huh? Because our nobles frenzies... Could our nobles frenzies be some kind of test after all? To see if we can achieve that kind of harmony as we flail around trying to fix things. Oh, once again, the brilliant Warden Melly has realized something rather clever. Shut the hell up, you dumb bitch. It's not just my Pokemon that need to be strong, it's me as well. The greater my valor and might, the more my Pokemon can reach their potential. If I, I wonder if Almighty Sinnoh will be pleased once I've achieved exactly that. Hey, Adamant, share with me again the wisdom of Almighty Sinnoh passed down among our clan. All right, all right. Open your ears, shut that big mouth, and listen well, my friend. Ugh, he's gonna go on a whole thing. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Offer only friendship to those around you. Give not into sorrow, give not into anger. Bring not Almighty Sinnoh to sorrow. For what is... For what is... Time's flow will cease. For that is when time's flow will cease. I'm tired. And there you have it. Thanks. Bravo, excellent. Please, all of you, do your best and run toward the destination, an even higher state. Of course, your higher state is clear, Daniel. It surely lies with the next lord. Now, this time, I really will make the complete return to Jubilife Village. Perhaps with someone like Daniel to show that Pokemon need not be feared. The people of Hisui will find new tracks forward. Now begging your pardon, I owe Commander Komodo my report. Until next time, Daniel. I like that guy. Can we find a better way to honor our past while also forging a better future? Maybe that's what Almighty Sinnoh really wants from us. After all, it rules over all time, and it created everything there is. Be ready to shield your eyes, Galaxy Grunt. I'm going to polish up both myself and Electrode until our strength and brilliance are blinding. Shut up, Melly. You're a cunt. I wonder. Oh, I cannot go any farther. Why not? That's cringe. There's literally a named location. Why can't I access it? Do I need Braviary to do that? That's kind of cringe.
guess I should probably just report to the camp, shouldn't I? What the hell? I need to get to that ancient quarry. Hold on. There's three satchels there. How's the Gyarados outbreak? That's oh. terrifying. <laughs> Let's see if there's any shinies there. Imagine a Gyarados outbreak IRL. No. Be terrifying. I saw a, a video and it said, This will ruin Pokemon Legends Arceus for you. And it said, Look around in the overworld. See anyone moving? I didn't think so. Is that it? Yeah. There's that, no. That the characters don't move? The NPCs aren't moving in the old world. I mean, where are they gonna move? That makes sense. Walk around, back and forth. Yeah, that would just that that would look more unnatural. Oh, I mean, not more. That would look equally as unnatural. It would look like it's more lively. People are actually moving. I mean, like I guess. Heard that if they yeah. had idle walking animations, so they're just standing still doing nothing. I feel like that would look kind of weird if everybody was just pacing always. That's a normal thing in the subworlds. I mean, I guess. I think it would make more sense if they were even, like, like walking in some kind of, like, circle. Repetitive circle, but, like, a lot. Yes, that's what I mean. Like, like, like perusing around the same general forward. area. Yeah, not just, like, taking a step forward and a step back. You know? Yeah. That makes more sense. Fuck off. You're literally a Geodude. Like, what? You're literally a Geodude. You're level 39 Alpha Geodude. I'm just killing you. And that is all. Yeah, I'm just strong style wave crash. You're dead. You're done. Cancelled. You said the N-word on Twitter! See? Told you. Cancelled. I got a small EXP candy. Wow. I'm gonna use that on Spectre! It wasn't gonna change anything anyway. Hiya! Hiya! Use some smoke bombs right now. To get... Are you kidding me? Okay, it still got caught. That's annoying though that it turned around. Sure I'm okay, I'm in. It's this way where all those satchels are. No, it's not. It's this way where all the satchels are. Some toxic rocks. Oh shit! Oh shit! What? Gumi! Nice. Ensligu and an Alpha Gudra. Oh, well, where? I climbed up a mountain, saw some Toxicroaks because I was looking for satchels, and I came across the the entire evolutionary uh, evolutionary line. So, oh my God, Sligu has an incredible running animation. It tucks in and rolls. Ah, oh, the Gudra's not that bad. I hope the shiny's good. I doubt it will be. Caught a Goomy. Alright, Sligoo, now it's your turn. I'm, 
Oh, damn it, didn't get caught. Alright, what's Dragon Steel weak to? It's weak to ground and fighting, and that's it. Jesus. I need you to turn around, Mr. Sligoo. That is such a good running animation, I'm not gonna lie. That makes me like this Sligoo form a bit more. That almost missed, that would have been very embarrassing. Let's go, we caught a Sligoo. Alright. Let's speak to ground and fighting. I have... Where do I have fighting moves? I have Drain Punch on you. Drain Punch on you. I have Bulldoze on you. And I have Close Combat on Hatchet. I think Hatchet's my best bet. Because Hatchet definitely has the highest attack stat. Yeah. And it has Strong Style, Close Combat. Best access to that move. Pretty nice. Alright, I found the first of the satchels. I found the second of the satchels. Try not to aggravate these Toxic Rogue. And let's see where this last satchel's at. Alright, it's a bit behind me, it seems. Is that it down here? Oh, that's an Alpha... Fucking... Stun Tank. I just found all three of those satchels. It's got a lot of merit points. Alright, let's go Sneasler. Oh, it would be would have been nice to have s saved up that Ultra Ball for this, I'm not gonna lie. To be fair, how would I have known that I would have been running into a Gudra of all things? Alright, we're getting Hatchet on the ready. There's another Gumi. Alright, Hatchet has been prepped for send out. Whenever I can get this Gudra diagroed. Oh, I overshot that by all- What? How did that count as starting the battle? It's level 70? Holy. Ow, ow. And it started with a Hydro Pump that's gonna Oko hatch it. Yep, I have to run. That's ridiculous. I said I overshot it by a ton and it initiated the battle. Alright. Right, you need 101 HP, so you just need two potions. Potions has got the biggest buff out of anything in this game. Two biggest buffs in this game, Potions and Basculin. How can I see that wisp from that far away? Oh my god. You see my stream? Look at that shit. Holy massive Gudra. Yeah. You should catch it. I'm gonna try. Nah, no, throw a ball at it. Why would I do that? See if you can get it in a Pokeball before it angers at you and catch it before you have to fight it. You mean a feather ball? Yeah. The one that, with the same catch rate as a Pokeball. Or an Ultra Ball. I don't have an Ultra Ball. I would be fighting it for an Ultra Ball. I wouldn't waste my Ultra Ball. Oh! It went in. It's not going to catch. No. <laughs> it didn't even shake. I've never seen that. Damn. Really didn't want to stay in that ball. Really didn't want to stay in that ball. If I had an Ultra oh. Ball, maybe. Turn around! What time is it? It's 9.30. I could probably go until 10. Oh yeah? You could? Yeah, I could. Like, like you really could? 
I really could. You're not even kidding, like you honestly. I'm not even. I'm not even fibbing. No fib. That's crazy. Oh my God, Gudra, stop looking at me. Kinds is challenging me to a fight. That's great. Come on, Toxic Crow, let's pickle this one in poison. I hated that. Is Why the Gudra mad at me? Is the Gudra what's mad at me right now? Because something's been mad at me this whole time. The Gudra had... I haven't been attacked by anything, though. Kind of weird. Sussy, one would say. What? Did you see that? Look at my stream. Oh my, I've been chased. What? Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> How is that not caught from behind? Oh my! You should watch that part too. I just got fucking sniped. <laughs> Bro murked me. Jesus. Come on, Gudra. Let me get behind. I want to get behind and hit you like you're a Rezu. There we go. That took way too much effort. I don't like how sad- oh, the Guja doesn't look sad, it just looks high. <laughs> That's better, I guess. Do I just strong style close combat? Yeah, I'm getting one shot, so I might as well. I like how strong style close combat is old close combat's power. Ooh, that did a lot of damage. Ooh, unawareness. And then an agile hydro pump, I bet. Shelter. Oh, that's a cool ass animation! Yeah, it in the Raises its defensive stats, and it became obscure. And it used Hydro Pump? Wait, it just went got three in a row! Yeah. Wow! I don't like that it be doing that sometimes. I don't- I'm not a fan. Gujo plus everything else be doing that sometimes. I have an idea. What's your idea? Agile Thunder Wave. You should be. What? You should have been mercy. Oh, shut up, dude. That's from such a long time ago. Giga Impact! Ow! That hurt. That wasn't very nice of you. Alright, I don't know what to hit it with and not kill it. I think we're gonna hit it with a Raging Fury. A non-agile, non-nothing Raging Fury. Oh! I'm gonna hit it with an Agile Raging Fury, because I can go three turns in a row. Okay, that did a pretty good chunk of damage, which is a little concerning. So now I'm gonna go for an agile rock slide. I'm gonna go for a thunder fang. Go for an agile thunder fang, just to do a very little bit of damage. And now I'm gonna throw a great ball at it. Come on, come on! It's powered low, and I have a great ball. Come on! Damn it! It's gonna get cured of the para. Oh, yikes, that's killing. Okay. Well then. I guess Basque Legion, you're bulky and you resist the only attacking move that it's used so far. You resist that, so that's nice. Great ball. Do Gigaton Balls ha I mean, not Gigaton. Do Leaden Balls have a higher base catch rate? Ooh, that's caught. See, I'm telling you, every time it does the one hop, every time, I've never seen it break out. That's crazy. That thing's going on the team. Alpha Gudra, it's going to replace Toxicroak, probably. Ah, am I, nah, it might replace Luxray. Having Thunder Wave is incredibly useful, but Toxicroak's moveset is incredible. It has my competitive Toxicroak's moveset, but except for throat chop it as X scissor, which is pretty good. 
Okay, I have medicinal leaks finally, so I can craft some healing items. I can craft revives or potions. I have 18 potions though, and not that many revives, so I'm gonna craft. I can only craft two, so I'll craft two. Alright, I'll be right back. Mic on. Mic feedback off. I'm back. It seems to me that your uh, that your brother has chatted in my in my Twitch chat with a YouTube link. Now, um, if I call that it's a Rick roll, it doesn't count as a Rick roll, right? That's the rules, right? It's my channel. I sacrificed myself for Pakistan. It's your channel. Yeah, it's a link to my channel. It's not. It's gonna be a Rick roll. It's not. You're trying to assist him in Rick rolling me. Daniel, I promise you on my mother. Are the are the pr promised rules of Rick rolling? If you call it as a Rick roll and then you click the link, knowing it's going to be never going to give you up by Rick Astley, it does not count. Correct. It does not count. Okay, I'm going to open this in a new tab. It is a link to your channel. See? Why did your brother send me a link to your channel? Why did he do that? I don't know. You know. Wait, why did he do that? I don't know. That's so random. At least he's supportive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. My video is premiering 13 minutes ago. That took a long time to process. Nice. <laughs> All right. And he just sent me another link. This one's going to be a Rickroll. Nope, it's my it's my channel. He just linked me to my cha linked me to my channel. Yeah, what is wrong with you? There are two people watching my premiere. Nice. Okay. Probably, probably haunting me. Probably, yeah. That would not be surprising. Okay. You said have... it as a premiere. It's just the entire stream. Yeah, I know. No one will know. People think it's just a regular video. <laughs> People are just gonna think it's a regular live stream. No, they're not that dumb. People in Alpha Red's chat are that dumb. He has a he has a VOD channel called Alpha Red Replay, and he used to premiere his VODs and just everyone in there, except for the occasional smart people like me. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, you super smart man. Knew that they were VODs, and everyone was like chatting as if he was interacting with this chat. <laughs> That's funny. Look at you, Spectre. You're so high leveled. Alright, we're going to the mountain camp. I'm reporting to the professor. Now he sent me another link. One of these is going to be a Rickroll. It doesn't count if you get me with a Rickroll. Yeah, there it is. That one's the Rickroll. Yeah, okay, didn't let it play. I saved it. Okay. Gonna do just a little while. We're gonna rest. I might change the fit up a little bit.
I want to see my Pokemon. Gudra, you're level 70. I feel bad putting it on my team. Should I not put it on my team? Um, if you put it on the team, you'll be uh, at the right level for that fight I was doing. <laughs> nice. Bro, why is the... Why did the Sligu and the Gumi have better movesets than the Gudra? Don't know. That's level 74 Rhyperior. The Gudra has Giga Impact, Hydro Pump, Shelter, and Iron Head. The Sligu has Iron Head, Dragon Pulse, Shelter, and Hydro Pump. It has uh, Dragon Pulse instead of Giga Impact. And this one has Dragon Pulse, Water Pulse, Shelter, and Acid Armor. What does Shelter do? Does it just obscure them? Is that like an evasion type thing? User makes its skin as hard as an iron shield, raising its defensive attack. Oh yeah, that is good. It raises its defensive stats and increases evasiveness. Alright, I'm gonna give this Gudra a good look now. I'm not gonna lie, man. It doesn't look too great from this angle. Why can't I rotate its model? I guess I have to put it on my team and send it out. Alright, Luxray. First time Luxray being off the team for a long, in a long time. You're a large Gudra. Oh, it has less dots along the side. And the dots change color to the color metal. If it had more dots, that would look nice. It's eyes, dr little goo drips, and dots change to the color of the metal on its tail. The, like sh the shiny could actually look pretty good. I don't like- I don't like how you said goo drips. What else would they be? They're goo drips. They're drips of goo. This is a very tall Gudra. What is your normal height, and what height is the one that I currently possess? Mongus. Normal Gudra's height is 6'7". Hisuian Gudra's height is 5'7". This thing is more than 6'7". This thing's taller than a... Co Colossian? I don't know how you would say that. It's 8 foot 11. Wow. It's 3 feet and 4 inches taller than the normal Gudra. Damn. Change moves. Let's see. I can give you... I can give you acid armor? What's Hydro Pump's accuracy? 85. I can give you water pulse. Oh, water pulse can't confuse, but it's infinite accuracy. That's pretty good. I'm getting rid of Giga Impact, so we'll give you Dragon Pulse for Giga Impact. Hydro Pump Shelter and Iron Head is actually probably pretty good. For now, yeah. Ideally, you would have Scald. I'm pretty sure Scald is not in the game, though, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think this is as good of a moveset as it's going to get until you get, like, Flash Cannon or something. Yeah, because you are a special attacker. Not by a lot, though. I'm going to keep the goo draw on my team, but I'm going to refrain from using it because it's, you know, level 70. That's fair, right? Having it there, but not using it. Oh, look at that! Oh, I like it so much more now, except for the fact that its little uh, ear thingies are inside of the shell. Look at look at my stream. Oh, That's cute, but I don't... I, they gave it a specific animation. They couldn't deal with the little ear things. That's kind of stupid. They're going into the shell. You know what I'm trying to say, right? Do you understand what I'm getting at? Yes, I understand what you're saying. <sighs> Carlos Gudra is better. That's its sleeping animation. Oh, that's actually really cute. Oh, I like it. I hope the shiny's good. I hope it is. Only one way to find out. You know what? I just got a good name for this thing. Com, baby. Actually, you know what? I thought of a good name for it, but I'll give it to my shiny Gudra if I end up liking its shiny. Since since Hisui and Gudra is so similar to regular Gudra, it's hardly a regional form. It's basically just a, a part two, so I'm going to name it Boogaloo. You're such a weirdo. <laughs> You're so different. Or wait, wait, what if I call it, what if I call it Googaloo? Stop. That's awesome. I love it. I'm naming it Googaloo. Stop. Stop your mouth. Nope, it, that, it's it's too late. It, it has been done in my head. When I get a shiny Gudra, if it is good, I'm naming it Googaloo. And if it is not, I am naming this thing Googaloo. 
Regardless of whether or not I use it, its name will be Googaloo. Oh. Just collected beans. I didn't need those beans, but thank you. I got beans, beans, beans. I, got beans, <laughs> I see you've caught 22 beans. Pokemon. Care to report your findings? Yeah. Let's see. How many new species? Are these all new species? Holy shit, I think they are. Except for Luxio. I caught a Sylveon too. Yeah, I forgot about that. This is going to be a lot of money. How many alphas? One, two, three, four, five, six alphas. This is surely going to get me pretty close to six. I'm at f I'm at four, but this will get me close to six. $26,000? Oh my god. Filled Luxio, filled Luxray, filled Typhlosion, filled Basque Legion, Arcanine. Caught a Cranny Dose, that's pretty cool. I would like a, a Bastion. I just realized this is a game that I could probably find a way to shiny hunt for Bastion on. Your brother chatted goo drips, push and pee. Oh my god. <laughs> How am I at research level 7 on Gudra? What the hell? What are your tasks? Caught one. Alpha caught one. Times I've seen it use shelter once, and times we've seen it use a strong side move once. How is that level 7? That's crazy. I only got 900 points for that. I feel like I get gypped of points sometimes. I'm a fifth star member now. That gives me uh, wing balls now. Yeah, I did quell the electrode. Time to report to Commander Commodo. It's true, it is that time. But before I do that, I'm going to give the farm my, um, my Steelix, my Alpha Steelix. Also, I bet I can collect my, um, my harvest. Yes, I can. I did a medicinal harvest, I believe. If you, catch a, if you catch a Pokemon unawares, all of the surrounding Pokemon that would have been in the fight leave. Oh. I got four no Bugwort Bloons. Oh, I was going to say, if that's it, that would suck. A Pep Up Plant, and that's it. I'm never doing a Medicinal Harvest ever again. I could do Berry Harvest. I could do a Mushroom Harvest. Apricorn Harvest is just where it's at. They're only $500. I am going to switch out Onyx for the Alpha Steelix that I caught. What a squad. Where's the Steelix at? There it is. My boy. What's your... St How large are you? 29 foot 7? I feel like that's smaller than a Steelix is normally. No? It is! <laughs> How is this an alpha Pokemon? Steelix's normal height is 30 foot 2. That's weird. It's whatever. It's still a Steelix. It's large. Yeah, oh, it is very large. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. They got they got quite the mons working on the field. Alright, let's see if I could teach Pokemon some new moves. I wonder if Spectre can get Wild Charge yet. Actually, does it learn Wild Charge? I don't think so. I think it's Arcanine. I know Arcanine does. I don't know if Typhlosion also does. I doubt it, but it would be nice if it did. <sighs> okay. Legends of Arceus. Oh, it does get Wild Charge. Oh, that's actually really good. I want new moves. Select. Give you Rock Smash, Bulldoze, Aerial Ace, Ominous Wind. Thunder Punch, Strain Punch, Rock Slide, Shadow Claw, Iron Tail, Mystical Fire. That's nothing new from before, you butt cheek. Arcanine. Let's see if I can give you anything good. Nope. No wild charge yet for Arcanine. I wonder if I could teach Gudra anything. Rock Smash, Bulldoze, Rest, Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Rock Slide, Iron Tail, or S Sludge Bomb. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try this again. Everything has been leveled up and EV trained. To the most that I could. Gudra is weak to just fighting and ground and resists literally everything. Fighting and ground Nothing are pretty physically defensive 60. typings, so it is just set, honestly. 
Let's get coverage for these types. Fighting is weak to flying, fairy, and psychic. Ground is weak to ice, water. I do have a water type move for it, so I'm not going to be able to cover fighting, it seems. Unless it gets extra sensory or, like, psychic at some point. Which it doesn't seem to be able to have access to quite yet. But I will be willing to get rid of shelter for something like that. I could give it sludge bomb, but I don't see a point. Basque Legion. I, honestly, Aqua Jet's pointless on Basque Legion, isn't it? Yes, Wave Crash. Because Wave Crash also has that priority. Yes, it does. That's what I was saying. Yeah. I could give it Calm Mind, I guess. Or Ominous Wind. I, think I could give it Rest, too. Rest is actually pretty good in this game. Drowsiness instead of Sleep. I wonder if you could use that to get rid of another status condition. You can in the regular games, right? What? Use rest to overtake a status condition. Yeah, and then this game you literally can have set changes overtaken. Yeah. And drowsiness is not that bad. No. But I but Basque Legion could also just be a bulk monster. That gets its its speed from wave crash. So I could give it calm mind. Hmm. Hopefully this fight is a lot easier. I updated uh, Zoroark's moveset. Leveled up. I need I need someone's two levels. cents. What do you think? Do you think I go Calm Mind or Rest? Rest. You think Rest? Definitely Rest. Wave Crash, Wave Crash, Wave Crash. Rest and... Yeah, because Rest I also don't need to set up for. And Rest I um can get rid of a burn. I'm a physical attacker, which is pretty good. I guess I guess that could you could say that about frostbite in this game too. So yeah, I'll give it rest. And let's see if Hatchet can learn anything now. Hatchet, you have a really good move set right now. X's or stone axe, swords dance in close combat. Ooh, ooh, I just realized something. I could give it focus energy. Instead of Swords Dance, but should I? Because if I give it Focus Energy, Stone X has a high crit chance. Um, I think Swords Dance is probably better. I'll just stick with Swords Dance for now. Suing Sneasel looks so cool. I want a shiny one. want to master moves. What moves can I master, actually? Thunder Punch or Drain Punch on Spectre? Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Excess are on Toxic Croak. I'm not going to use them on... Bro, all Tribe calls it Worder. Toxic Oh, my God. Thunderfang or Bulldoze on Arcanine. Oh, wow. Gudra has all of its moves mastered already. Ice Fang on Basque Legion. Okay, so the only Pokemon I have to worry about... Okay, Spectre is priority. Oh, I could give it Thunder Punch or Drain Punch. Drain Punch first. Oh my god, Zorox, a monster. Oh, you're f is it your first time seeing it? No, no, no. It's my first time actually using it. It was 20 levels under level and was not even trained. Oh, you're using it? Nice. Yeah. Well, it's still under level, then it still got out of spec. Then it died to a bunch. Not surprising. How many of these seeds do I have? I don't know, but I'm going to keep using them until I run out. And I'm just going to get Thunder Punch mastered. Actually, I'm not going to master Thunder Punch. That's a waste of a seed because I'm going to give it Wild Charge at some point. But the rest of its moveset is sticking. Arcanine, I'll master Bulldoze. That move is staying. Thunder Fang, I'm just going to be replaced though. Alright, I beat, I beat him pretty easily. That's good. I actually didn't beat him yet. Then 
Basque Legion. I keep Ice Fang on Basque Legion, right? Doesn't get anything better. So I'll just yeah, I'll just Definitely master. Definitely keep Ice Fang on the I'll, I'll master Ice Fang, I guess. I wonder if I can master Rest. You can master anything. So actually, mastering Rest would be really good. Agile Rest could come in very handy. This Basque Legion is so tiny. <laughs> Man. Actually, wait, I need to give Basque Legion rest right. instead of Aqua Jet. Oh, yeah, rest is actually, I just realized, yeah, pairing rest with Wave Crash is really good. You did say that, I just was not paying attention. Alright, I have two left for the after fight. Is that your second time beating that? Yeah. Nice. You've only been going at it for a couple hours. Let's hope I don't get murked. Oh, I have a Grit Pebble. I need to use that. I have three more Seeds of Mastery after that. I mastered like five moves. What do you have to offer me? A Heavy Ball set for 2,000? Yeah, I'll do it. This is my first time buying something from this idiot. From Ginter. 30 Heavy Balls. Oh, that, that was it. 30 Heavy Balls for 2,000. That's... Pretty good deal, actually. Buy clothing. Ooh, that is clean. Hold on, I bet those bottoms are clean as hell. Ooh, they are. That's sick. Right, let me see what the Basque Legion stuff looks like. That looks cool. Basque Legion. That oh my god. Cool. Come on. Man. You died. Yeah. You are died. Ooh, those Typhlosion bottoms are clean. Like, what am I supposed to do? That does not go at all, though. Oddly. Ooh, I kind of like how that looks. 
That looks kind of weird. The Sneasler one doesn't look that good with it, though. trying to change the drip up. It's annoying because the fancy kimono is like a kind of weird shape, but they all look so much better than everything else. Two drives are move twice. This game love sucks. Love to see it. Love to see this it. This game sucks. <laughs> that honestly looks fire. Holy shit. Sneezler pants. Typhlosion top. I see something else. No, the fuck. Fuck. No. This is annoying. Change clothing. I want to put on those type flosion pants that I bought. See how they look with the sneeze at the top. <coughs> Bless you. Thanks, man. How did, this is not going to look that good with the sneezler top, is it? No, it is not. Okay, well, I'm going to buy the Typhlosion top because I know what my fit's going to be. Oh, whoops. Alright, I am abandoning, for the first time in a while, the Garchomp kimono. I think it's actually the first time it's going away. Pants, Sneasler. Top, Typhlosion. That is flames. We need a better hat, though. I have the Baneful Fox mask. The Zoroark Fox Mask. What else came with that? The Zoroark fit? That was it, it's just the mask. Oh. Didn't know that. Alright, let's go back to the shop. And let's see, do you have new clothes? I mean, not new clothes, do you have new shoes? You do not seem to have new shoes. I want to look at your hats, brother. Honestly? I might go for the black hat instead of this bluish one. I guarantee you if this battle was normal Pokemon fashion, it would be so easy. Probably, but that's the point. <laughs> it's supposed to be a hard battle. They made it hard for the style that the battle's supposed to be fought in. Alright, let's see if my if my baby girl do you have any new hairstyles? Nope, I have to bring you a mischievous first. Did I catch a mischievous? I didn't catch a mischievous. God damn it. 
forgot that I needed that for a challenge. My fit is actually kind of fire right now. There was a lot of opportunities to cast them. Yeah, I know, but they just didn't stay in the damn Pokeballs. That's insane. I don't get why there's data for abilities and there aren't abilities in the fucking game. It's so annoying. <laughs> Cleavor has sheer force. That's so dumb, dude. So she, wait, sheer force doesn't doesn't work on crit chances, right? No, but it works on will leave blank. Yeah, exactly. So that would be really good. That would actually be overpowered. <laughs> hmm, so Ward of Melee believes that the frenzies of these Pokemon are some sort of trial set by Almighty Sinnoh. This fit is fire. It's a little loud, but I like it. We cannot know if that is the case or not, but it does beg the question. Why ever would this almighty Sinnoh drive the nobles so frenzy? Is it angered by something, or does it seek to drive a wedge between people and Pokemon? Well, far be it from us humans to fathom the thoughts of Pokemon. And what is that space-time rift anyway? What caused it to open? Hmm, but you must be tired. Go on, then, to the wall, flower. <laughs> Get some rest while you can. Uh, we're gonna be eating some potato mochi. I've instructed Benny to prepare you his finest potato mochi. Thanks, Kamado. Never gets old. Mochi, baby. I hate to break it to you, but I think Typhlosion might have the best starter fancy kimono out of all of them. Okay. <laughs> it's actually oh, flames. Oh, literally. Dinner's on Kamado tonight. Eat your fill. You've noticed that he has Parkinson's, right? Yeah. <laughs> so weird. But what an enticing aroma. My appetite just went through the roof. Shut up, Labinton. You're a beta. Unlike that Steelix and, uh, and Gyarados that I have working at the farms. Quite a change from the commander's usual preaching about tightening our belts until things grow more stable. Well, I've heard talk that our progress surveying Pokemon has made gathering ingredients a less onerous or at least less dangerous task. You used a big word that I don't know. It's almost like a fairy tale, isn't it? How you've fallen to us from the sky and gone on to help the people of Asui so much. Oh, my, my Akari, you're hot too. Just thought I'd remind you. You're pretty hot too. Indeed, taking on such perilous duties has earned you a great deal of trust, Daniel. It's like I always say, behavior is a mirror that reflects one's true nature. You let your actions do the speaking for you, Daniel, and the message is clear as day. Doesn't matter one one whit where you came from, you're part of the Survey Corps and Jubilife Village now. Thanks, Lavinson. The next day. Oh, I'm dripped out the wazoo, baby. Isn't it nice getting up early? Is it? It's not as if getting up early changes what you do with the day. Yes, it does. It opens up possibilities, such as responding to Commander Commodo's invitation today in a timely manner. Well, I got that same invitation, and I had to wake up even earlier than you to run all the way here for it. Come on, no need to grouse so much over a little, a nice little early wake up. Yeah, don't get so aggro, bro. Relax. Are you coming too? I'm sure we all can guess what the commander wants with us. Yes, do come. Galaxy Hill, yeah, Galaxy Hall is quite close anyway. Uh, I think I might have to end it here, and we will talk with Commander Commodo tomorrow. Oh, never mind. We are forced to talk with him now. Nice. You've now quelled the frenzy of four nobles. On to the next one! When the, wor when the word of these frenzies arrived from all over Hasui, I feared that it, would be that it would become of us. Okay. But here we are, already preparing to quell the final noble. Yeah, who would have dreamed some stranger who tumbled out of the sky would be our salvation? Life never does stop surprising you. The only lord left to be quelled is Avalug. Oh ho ho ho! 
which lives in the Alabaster Ice Lands. Oh, I love Hasumi and Avalog. It is? it is huge. I mean, regular Avalog is large, isn't it? This thing is like a size of the. Well, you, you oh, also no. have to think about it. Gudra's normal height is. Good. That Gudra's normal height is what was it? 5'7? Yeah, Gudra's normal height is 5'7, and the one that I found was 8'11. So, if Avalog, regular Avalog, is 6'7, Hasumi and Avalog is 4'7? I mean, well, that's from feet to uh, the flat plateau that is its back, I'm assuming. So if that's 4-7 from its feet to its back, that is a very large being. So I can only imagine how big an alpha is. Oh my god. Oh, this, this is another one. This one has a, an ability that's different. But it's just not in the game because abilities aren't in the game. Avalog gets str uh, Hasumi and Avalog get strong jaw. Regular Avalog doesn't. That's so weird. Whatever, man. He's also the largest of the nobles, according to what Arita told me. Ah. Your mission is to quell Avalog, the final lord, and perhaps in doing so, we may trigger some change in the space-time rift as well. Avlog may be the Pearl Clan's noble, but my clan and the Galaxy team will have to step up to resolve this, too. For the sake of a brighter future. Then let us all meet in the cold reaches of the Alabaster Icelands. Until then. A slumbering lord of the tundra. No matter how many of these frenzied Pokemon you may quell, the fact remains that you are a stranger to our world. No small number of people still regard you with suspicion and distrust. The most you can hope for is to gain the trust of as many people as possible, and to do that, you must prove yourself through your actions. More cutscene, of course. Why would there be less cutscene? Why would that happen? Silene says, Yeah! You good? Oh, she's fallen and can't get up? A wormple. Really? Uh, Abra, yeah. teleport this Wormful outside at once. <laughs> Way to do an animation for that game break. Ahem. So you're to survey the Alabaster Icelands next. This is the most treacherous climb you'll face in all Hisui. If you intend to go, show me your equal to the challenge by earning your fifth star. I already can get my fifth star literally right now. Witness Pokemon using moves of various styles. Catch Pokemon at different times. Complete such research tasks to raise your rank and aid with any requests that might be found on the professor's blackboard. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty full. Now give me that wing ball. Well, it makes you pull up your Pokedex just to exit out of it. Yeah, you officially attained the rank of 5th star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. You can now use Wing Balls. Pokemon of up to level 65 will also obey you. That still does not include my Gudra. So, obey your orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now, too. Have this as well. This is a further recipe you'll need for crafting. Wing Ball recipe. Thank you. It would not be an exaggeration to say that you might be the only one among the Survey Corps I can task with surveying the Alabaster Icelands. You know your orders. See your mission through. Shut your little mouth, you dumbass. Alright, I'm gonna go talk to that one guy that I had a request for that wanted the hardy grains. Because I do have hardy grains. Oh, I have to have them in my inventory. I hate that some things you need the items in your inventory. And some of them, you need them, uh, what's it called? Just in your item box. It's kind of annoying. Oh, 
please don't tell me this is going to start a cutscene or something. I'm going to try to wrap around here so it doesn't start a cutscene. Okay, I got it to not start a cutscene. Move to Satchel. Three of them. You know, Nate still hasn't been able to get the game. And th I believe him entirely because this happened with, with a game once. A Mario game. He was trying to buy it on the eShop and it wouldn't go through. And he didn't end up downloading the game and ended up charging him for every time he tried. So they had to call Nintendo and the credit card company. That's Wait, true. you've got hardy grains. Would you let me have some, please? Just three stocks. No. Okay, fine. Sure. You handed over three stalks of Hardy Grains. Oh, Hardy Grains, the Crimson Mirelands, finest feature. The sway of those golden brown stalks across the landscape, it fills me with yearning for home. I'd wager if you combined Hardy Grains with other, with other ingredients, it'd bring out tasty aromas that would make Pokemon gather round. Alright, I won't send you back a failure since you kindly brought me these hardy grains. Tell Choi I'll set him up with some new wares. I don't remember which guy is Choi. I'm gonna complete this request and then I'm ending stream. Lay a head in a pillow and stick him with a knife, alright. Alright, which one of you is Choi? Is Choi the crafting guy? No. I think Choi is the main uh, merchant of the area. This guy with the purple hair. Yes, you are Choi. We've got new goods in stock thanks to you. Sorry you had to deal with all this. Uh, Tao Hua and I have some have had some complications before, but thanks to you, we've got excellent new items to offer. Do buy some. All right, let's see. We arrived in the nick of time. Refusing to do business. And again, you won't listen to a word I say. If I bring him three pop pods, I'll get more wares again. Okay. I will do that. Let's see what you're selling now. Oh, you're selling Pokeballs, Heavy Balls, and Feather Balls, and Super Potions, and Smoke Bombs, and Honey Cakes, and Mushroom Cakes. That is nice. That is helpful. To say the least. Damn, I could just do that right now. I have a ton of pop pods on me. I don't know if I really want to. I'm gonna use this, uh, this grit pebble before I forget, though. I'm not gonna use more on it, more stuff on this Arcanine because it's not gonna be my final Arcanine because I'm gonna shiny hunt it. So I'll go for physical attack on Spectre because I'm gonna have two physical moves on it in the end. Look at that MXP candy. I'm gonna use it on Spectre. <laughs> I'm actually going to buy some of your super potions. And some revives. Very helpful, thank you. And now I'm going to craft some wing balls. craft like 40 of them. Oh, I only have 11 Sky Tumble Stone. I guess I'm making 11 of them. What a team. This is almost the final team, probably. Toxicroak's probably going to be replaced by either an Avalug or a Zoroark. 
Honestly, Toxicroak and Gujar will probably end up replaced by Avalok and Zoroark. I don't know. Depends. I'm gonna shiny hunt probably all three of them in the end anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Alright, we're gonna save and we're gonna call it there. Good stream. I save my progress. Alright. I hope you guys enjoyed. Whether you're watching this live with me right now or you're watching this at home chilling by yourself in the VOD on Twitch or on YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys.